Hey guys. Okay, so tonight's what's for dinner is going to be some mini slider burgers. We, I like the brioche buns. My grocery store didn't have the bigger ones, so I just got a bunch of the mini like bun sizes that they had. So I'm going to make mini slider burgers. We're going to have some just traditional cheeseburgers, and then we're going to have some barbecue um, ones with some sauteed onions and mushrooms. It's going to be really good. So, yay! All right, now I'm going to cook my onions and saute my onions. Um, I just wanted to get really caramelized, not necessarily just brown and crispy. And I'm gonna put, put some olive oil in my pan already. Then I'm gonna put some salt and pepper. When those are done, we're gonna do the mushrooms. I'm also gonna make some mac and cheese for a side. Not the best thing in the world, but it'll do. And then we're also going to have this salad kit. This one's really good. I like to add cheese to it. I got my patties all shaped out. I didn't have my pan heated up yet, so water is boiling. Those are done. I can't cook with two surfaces front and back, so those are just gonna have to be done. I've um, got the pan heating up. Tonight for dinner, we're having our Hawaiian pineapple chicken tacos. We have our chicken, pineapple, jalapeno. I double up what the recipe calls for on seasonings and um, ingredients and stuff like that, just so it's extra flavorful. I notice it's not very flavorful when I follow it to a tea. Um, whole red onion, I'm gonna need a little bit of mustard, sriracha, some cumin, chili powder, salt, pepper, um, garlic powder, and then we're gonna make a really yummy lime, cilantro, ranch, jalapeno. It's so good. jalapeno lime ranch so i have one whole jalapeno cut up we like things spicy in this house at least i do so it has the ribs um we have some cilantro and some parsley some olive oil i have some mayo and sour cream so half cup mayo half cup sour cream i have some salt pepper onion powder and a little bit of dill in the bottom of there um i'll link the recipe below too so you have measurements um, i'm gonna put in some garlic i'm gonna do some vinegar and then like I said we have the olive oil that is all going to go in here and we're going to pulse it up.
finished cooking, I'm about to shred it. I'm just gonna shred it while it's hot because I'm gonna use my hand mixer. So this part's gonna be really noisy, so I'll maybe film just like a little time lapse or something. And the next step is I'm gonna broil them in the oven for like five, 10 minutes. I have now spread all that out. It tastes really good. I tried a little bit of it. Um, it's just it's so good. It's ridiculous. Again, if you don't double the spices and everything, it's really not that flavorful. It's just like good when you have all the other stuff on it. That's going in the oven. Five, ten minutes, and we'll see you when it's done. My jalapeno lime ranch tasted like it was missing something, and I just couldn't put my finger on it, and then I was like, duh, lime juice. So I probably added a third of a cup of lime juice to this, and it is perfect. Like, that's perfect. It is so good. It's so good. If you've ever been to Chewy's, their jalapeno lime ranch, it kind of tastes like that, but less like creamy and milky. Tasting like less thick. But yeah, so we have our broccoli slaw. I'm gonna go ahead and mix some of the jalapeno lime ranch with it. Um, just use some bottled lime juice for that earlier. Um, I'm gonna serve it up with some jalapeno, or jalapeno cilantro, and some of these mini tortilla strips, or mini tortillas. <laughs> 